What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. All right. So, according to reports, Ronnie James is expected to travel to Lakers for the upcoming five-game road trip, and then will begin shuttling between the active roster and the franchise's South Bay G League affiliate. This according to Sham Sharania and other notable NBA insiders. So, first of all, I got to say, uh, shout out to Ticket TV because he said they were going to do this. I remember him saying that. And more than likely, after the uh, warm and fuzzy father-son moment on opening day, that they were probably going to start phasing him <clears throat> phasing him out of actual nba play and having him play in the g league um i wish him the very best i really do um you know i try to stay away from talking about Bronny. i still find it kind of a sensitive subject uh because you know what i'm saying that, that's the man's kid so i try not to talk about that too much i still think that brownie has been set up to fail more than likely at the hands of his father i think he had been better off staying in college uh and trying to work on his game then and then trying to make the nba um at least presumably on his own merit. Uh, I know some clowns think that a lot of us are jealous because Bronny is in the league and Michael Jordan's kids didn't make the league or some shit like that. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Uh, at the end of the day, it's just that, you know, look, It'd be one thing if you got the impression that Bronny would be an NBA prospect, but it just doesn't look like he's going. He's an NBA prospect, and it just looks like he only got there due to who his father is. Uh, I'm just being honest. You know, that's kind of how it looks. But I hope that he proves me and everybody wrong, and he becomes a really good player. But it just doesn't look like that's in the cards. I also think that. One of the reasons why he's playing for the Lakers is because, look, we all know LeBron James is not going to play forever. He could, this could possibly be his last year or maybe next year, uh, probably next year because he probably wants to break the record for most seasons played. Uh, but that's the thing. A retired LeBron may not have the same leverage in the NBA or the La NBA or the, the Lakers, a.k.a. Fakers, as an active playing uh, LeBron James. So whatever, man. I mean, look, he got to have his Ken Griffey Jr., Ken Griffey Sr. moment. Um, I don't really understand what all the hoopla is about. Really, uh, honestly, because I just, I don't know, man. It's just, you know, it, it's, a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a really, tricky topic, you know what I'm saying? Really don't like talking about it because of uh, the proximity between, you know, who he is and who LeBron is. Uh, but I'll just say, look, man, I wish him the very best. I really do. But, you know, there's a lot of guys in the G League that are itching for an NBA spot. And you know what I know, that from a talent perspective, a lot of those dudes – are absolutely just like sharks in the water right now when it comes to going against this kid. I'm just being honest. Uh, you know, that, that's just what's going. That's what it. That's what it is. You know. Now it'll be. It's, I'm gonna tell you something. It's gonna be real. I just hope that the NBA has to become so fake that there's like some. Uh, unofficial order 
or decree that even G leaguers are supposed to take it easy on him uh, if they want an opportunity to come to the league. If it gets to that point, we suspect that man. Then the NBA as a product is dead. It's dead. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but you know, a lot of people ain't gonna like this video and. They will call me a LeBron hater and all this. I don't give a shit no more, man. I don't care. I'm, I'm just at a point now where I'm tired of like, uh, I'm tired of like trying to coddle grown ass men's feelings and shit. But I better not say this about LeBron because you know these guys wanna man. Oh, you know how sensitive these guys are today. The worst thing, goddamn teenage girl. Honestly, man, can't even talk basketball anymore. I understand you're talking politics, you know what I'm saying, the sensitivity and religion and certain key issues like, you know, women's right to choose and all this other stuff. I get those type of arguments. We're talking basketball, man. You got grown men, they feelings, threatening dudes, you can't come into this state, you know. This is just stupid shit. You know what I'm saying, man? But look, man, at the hook. His father and the Lakers created this moment, man. They created this 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 crap. They created this situation because it's like he was forced into this situation. And there's so much pressure on him. There's so much pressure on him to perform at a level that warrants all the media attention. And then if you don't pretend like he's something that he's not, I mean, if you pretend that he's something that he's not, Unless you do that, then you're called a hater. You know, it's just people want you to be in an alternate reality or some shit. And about him being a second round pick, you know, why there's so much pressure on the second round pick? Well, Nicole Jokic was a second round pick too. And I think um, that dude's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer, right? There's been a lot of great second round picks. In NBA history. Dennis Robin was a second round pick. Tony Kukoc was a second round pick. The dude that everybody says is a Hall of Famer, but I think he's a fake Hall of Famer. Draymond Green was a second round pick. Mon Ginobili was a second round pick. So the fact that he's a second round pick doesn't necessarily mean that, uh, oh, he's destined to be bad. Uh, so you can't use that as an argument for why he is exempt from crit uh, criticism, um, especially how hyped he was, you know. But uh, and, and I mean, hell, they they actually split the draft up so that he would have a night, a featured night. So anyway, that's all I got to say about it. Wish him the best.